my soul magnifies the Lord I lift him high and my spirit rejoices in God my Savior oh my soul My spirit rejoices in God, my Savior. My deliverer and my King, my Savior. some of my Christmas singing the scriptures because um, if you're part of our Into the River program, if you're not, check it out. Jump into the river with us. You can find out more information about my mentorship, worship mentorship at intotheriver.net. So just uh, check that out. I'm going to find you guys. I like to say, don't scroll and roll uh, because I want to pray over you tonight. And if the Lord gives me any words, I want to prophesy over you tonight. Man, I'm colorful tonight, you guys. Wow. Um, but anyway, oh, I love it. Let me see this. So I've got to kind of look in this direction. Uh, so anyway, hello, Lori. Hello, uh, jo Georgia, Georgia, Georgia. Yeah, anyway, I always do that. So Lorna and Donna and Diana and hello, Lori and Heather. Hey, if you're on Facebook, do me a favor and press your share button. Press your share button. If you are on YouTube, I'm going to go to YouTube now and see if I'm on. Uh, there I am. Hello, everybody. If, if you're on YouTube, 
press subscribe and just tweak that little bell and it will let you know when I'm going to be on just to sing over you. But anyway, so hello, burn. All right. I don't know. Hello, back row Christian. I love that. And hello, Marcella. And hello, redeemed forever. You guys have great YouTube names. This is amazing. I love it. So as I said, don't scroll and roll. Hey, stay on. I'm going to sing a song from our Singing the Scriptures Christmas. And um, this is from Luke 1, when Mary goes to visit Elizabeth. And, you know, she feels, or Elizabeth feels the baby jump inside of her. And, and anyway, Mary, this young Mary, just begins to sing this song just magnifying the Lord and his name. And I just, I love the words of this song. Uh, you can you can listen to it if you're a part of our into the river.net. We are singing our way through the Psalms. Yes, we've recorded Psalm 1 through 70. We're recording our way through the whole book of Psalms, bringing the Psalms into our everyday life, getting breakthrough healing like David, because the book is just as powerful as when he wrote it. But during the Christmas season, I like to go to the New Testament and record singing the scriptures straight from the New Testament. And this is Mary's song, Magnifying Jesus. Uh, check out my worship mentorship, uh, singing the scripture mentorship at intotheriver.net. And I have, gosh, almost five hours uh, during the Christmas season where I've just pulled out all of the Christmas or any of the scriptures foretelling of the birth of Jesus because there's something about sprinkling a little melody with the beautiful words in this book that causes these words to penetrate, to strike our heart. I mean, just to, just, it targets us. And it's like, it goes deeper than memorization. And I heard Ray Vanderlyn, who's a, I love Ray Vanderlyn. I think he's with Focus on the Family. Everybody should check him out. But he said, don't just memorize the text, be the text. And I feel like when I add this simple tool called melody to the power, powerful verses in scripture, that it just stays with me. And what is so beautiful about Mary's song is that it just magnifies the Lord. But again, Mary puts herself in this storyline because she says, he took notice, God took notice of, of me, this lowly servant girl. God has been mindful of me. And you know what? He's been mindful of you. You guys, back row Christian, redeemed forever. He's been mindful of you. I'm going back to Facebook. Um, Laura and Heather and Julie, I like your name, Diana, Georgia. Uh, again, if you're on Facebook, press your share button. Don't scroll and roll. I want to sing this song over you. Um, and it's straight scripture which means that these words are alive and full of living power. And then I want to pray over you. I want to, I want to prophesy if, you get, if I get any words. If you get any words. So um, let me know where you're watching from. I love it when the nations get on. And let me know how I can pray for you tonight. Because the Holy Spirit, He, he loves to, I just believe, Wherever you are, there he is. I don't have to be in the same room with you, but I can agree with you from the word of God. But anyway, check out intotheriver.net.
Net. We would love to have you a part of our mentorship where we're singing our way through the Psalms and the Christmas story. We do weekly Bible studies. We do live interactive classes. And then we uh, have a 24-7 worship radio now with over 80 hours from the Psalms and the, um, the, the Christmas story. And we also sprinkle in, we've got some Ephesians in there. We've got some Song of Solomon chapter one and two in there. So it's just to help the word of God come alive in you so that you don't forget it. You can also, I have all these deals tonight, you guys. You can also go to my uh, uh, juliemeyerministries.com and we have a special. It's called our Christmas special and I think it's like seven CDs that are very, very, it's like seven CDs and it's our Christmas CD. It's my most popular CDs. Just, I think it's maybe $39, something like that. And you can just get hours and hours of, if you still play CDs, maybe you want it, but check that out at juliemeyerministries.com. And I, hopefully that, we'll, we'll get that link up there. And hello, Teresa. Uh, Harry needs a miracle of healing. Okay, we're going to pray for Harry. Let's just start it off. In the name of Jesus, Lord, I thank you for Harry. We have Teresa Robbins here. And Lord, I Harry needs a healing. What an amazing Christmas gift. If Holy Spirit, just go touch, go touch Harry. It says he, he needs a miracle, a new hip, a uh, new uh, and multiple other conditions quickly becoming immobile. So, Lord Jesus, we lift up Harry Robbins to you in the name of Jesus. And I, I just send forth your word, God. I send forth Luke 1. We're going to wash this over you. And I would encourage you, um, uh, Teresa, play this over Harry later because it's just the word of God. But also... Psalm 30. And oh Lord, my healing God, I cried out for a miracle. Oh Lord, my healing God, and you healed me. Psalm 30, verse 2. Oh Lord, my healing God, I cried out for a miracle, and you healed me. Those are David's words. And he says that he was one breath away from the grave. And, and the hand of the Lord reached down and plucked him out of the grave of troubled waters that he could not deliver himself from. And Lord, we just send Psalm 30 to Harry. Wherever you are, Harry, I don't know where you're from, but wherever you are, we send forth your word. Psalm 30, verse 2. And then on down in verse 3, it says, Now here I am, alive and well, fully restored. And that's out of the Passion Translation. And then we give you Psalm 103. He forgives all our sin and he heals everything. We decree that over you, Harry. We send it over you. We say, Harry, be healed in the name of Jesus. All right, you guys, if you're on Facebook, press your um, share button. If you're on YouTube, press subscribe. This is, this is Luke 1. And the beautiful part of Mary's song is that I feel like it, it helps our attention be focused on the beauty and the power of Jesus. And in this season, my heart is always to have an attitude of gratitude. And I feel like this Psalm, or not, not this Psalm, but this portion of scripture, it, it does that. It's just the, the declaration of Mary, of the Savior and of God. And it's still true today. So you can sing this with me. And I believe it, I believe that 
the frustrating feelings and the fear feelings and everything that we're facing that just just close your eyes and let this wash over you it is word for word Mary's song from Luke 1 Oh, my soul magnifies the Lord, I lift him high, and my spirit rejoices in God, my Savior. You can sing it with me. You can sing that part again. Oh, my soul magnifies the Lord I lift him high and my spirit rejoices in God my Savior my deliverer and my King Israel to 
to be remembered yes he remembered mercy and he has made this promise to our ancestors abraham and his children forever and ever and ever my soul magnifies the lord i lift him high and my spirit rejoices in god my savior i love those words you guys I love those words. All right, if you are on Facebook, press your share button. If you're on YouTube, press subscribe. I was just singing, um, I was singing the song of Mary from Luke 1. And there's something about these words that I feel like it takes, it, it pushes frustration and grief away and literally um, it begins to um, stir an attitude of gratitude and it just gets our eyes looking just a little bit higher you know I love singing about who Jesus is and I love this about Mary because she sang this and these words are still true after all these generations these hundreds of years I mean, just hundreds and hundreds of, and they're still true. So anyway, okay, I like to say don't scroll and roll because I want to pray for you tonight. Uh, as you get on, let me know where you're watching from and let me know how I can pray for you. Um, and then like towards the end, I want to sing this song again because I just, oh, I just think it's so beautiful. And I just, there's, there's something about these words that just brings an atmosphere of worship. And I don't know, I just feel like the, hum the humility in Mary when she said, uh, let it be done unto me according to your will. There's something about that humility that just draws the presence of God in a whole new way. So anyway, enjoy that. Um, anyway, let me, so I'm on Facebook. I'm also on YouTube, on YouTube. And I see Jay from New York. And I see Bonnie Bachman. And there we go redeemed forever and how do I say yes Yasmina Bennett from the UK I love the UK and Kelly um, anyway and, and Kelly says maybe to expand in singing I love to worship and the way to expand in singing Kelly is to um, practice you go to YouTube, you can get warm-up videos, warm-up exercises for your voice, and, and just sing every single day. Uh, it's best if you sing for 10 minutes instead of, well, I do it once a week for an hour and a half. It's better to do 10 to 15 minutes every day. Don't, you know, I mean, you can take a Sabbath rest, but to me, singing the Bible is a Sabbath rest. Um, but just, just do it. Don't wait. I don't believe that singing is uh, impartation. I believe you just do it. And you get better by singing every single day. You get more comfortable singing the scriptures when you do it every single day. And I've just made singing the word part of my own life. And so I, I've just... Um, you know, some of the people that said I got my gift straight from the Lord, I haven't thought that it was very excellent. So I'm always like, be very careful on how we say, oh, he, the Lord gave it to me. Because sometimes he does give us a gift, but we have to hone in on the skill. And because we want everything free, can I have a free impartation that I can sing better than you? It doesn't come like that. You have to just sit down and practice the key of E. No, no, you're sure, you know, but I do believe that as we practice, the spirit of God can meet us. 
us in it. So anyway, that's my, that's my encouragement. Just do it. Do, you don't need a calling when people say to you, when did you get the calling? I don't, I just, somebody asked me to lead worship and I said yes. And then somebody else did. And I said yes. And somebody else did. I didn't get this call. I just, I just loved him. I wanted to love Jesus with everything. So anyway, all right, I'm going to go back here to Facebook and get a couple people here. So if you check out juliemeyerministries.com, and we have a great Christmas special where you get like seven CDs, um, and there are my really fun CDs with my Christmas CD in there. So check that out. It's a great Christmas present. Um, and so Lorna from Connecticut near Yukon, Lorna, uh, Lorna Griffin, I don't know if I've prayed for you before, but your name uh, looks familiar. And my son, Jesse, who is one of, we have identical twins, Jesse and Joseph. Joseph graduated Santa Barbara University and Jesse graduated Yukon and he works at NASA. Um, so anyway, Lord, I thank you for, for Lorna. I ask that you bless her in Connecticut because, boy, uh, does Connecticut get cold. Um, and I just, as, I, as I'm praying for you, Lorna, I mean, I just, I just see somebody that's steady. It's like I see you walking down a path. And when I said the word Connecticut, and in my mind, I'm thinking of the spelling, and I saw the word cut. And it's almost like I just saw a, a, a long road before you that you're just, you're patient. I feel like you have such a gift of patience and love, and that's rare. Um, but it's almost like you've just said, I'm, I'm going to do this. I'm going to stay on this pathway. And it's like um, with each step I saw, it's like I can see your heart get larger and larger and larger. Um, in faith, I feel like he is enlarging your heart. It's Matthew 7, you know, ask, seek, and knock to him who asks. He will receive to him who seeks. He will find to he who knocks. The door will be open. I feel like you're knocking on that door, asking for some uh, big things from the Lord. I mean, that's not, that's a lot of people are doing that. But there's this, this um, new, it's, it's just like new. It's like new and fresh. There's this fresh faith that is arising almost as if you are not going to stop knocking until you see it. And I feel like you have set your heart for the distance, even though you cannot even see the end of the road ahead. You've just set your heart. I'm going to, I'm going to keep walking day by day, step by step, choice by choice, yes by yes. And I am going to meet God in this journey. But I just saw him come and almost cut it in half. Like, just cut it. I just see that word, C-U-T, Connecticut, cut. He's going to connect. This is good. I just see he's going to connect. There's new uh, networking that he is going to connect you with. And at the same time, he's going to cut that journey shorter than you thought it was. I mean, you're still on earth, just so you know. I mean, it's not like you're going to heaven early. No, you're, you're walking, but that hard path, he, he's cutting that short, and it's just like there's a sudden right turn, and he's also cutting off baggage. Um, weights that you don't need to be carrying. And I feel like some of those weights are other people's um, heaviness. They're other people's weights. And I feel like the Lord is saying, if you carry them, they will never learn to carry them. And uh, he's just going to free the load on your shoulders. And I just feel well, well done. Lorna Griffin 
from Connecticut. I love that. Hello, Donna Whitaker. Blessings, everyone. And beautiful Georgia. And we just pray for you, Georgia, in Jesus' name. I just pray uh, for a heart that is strong. And it's just like, Georgia, as I'm praying for you, it's just like I see that this heart just grow bigger and stronger and stronger and bigger. And, and it's like every beat of your heart is for the Lord. And I just, you, your walk is so precious. And I want everybody to know, I do know Georgia. She's a friend of mine. I love Georgia. So I know some of the things about her, but I just felt like when I said your name, um, I just felt like that the Lord is so near to you. And I feel like this Christmas season, Georgia, I want you to really uh, say Luke 1 out loud, Mary's prayer say it you know go back to this well this live and and sing and sing that oh my soul magnify Be uh, because when we sing that we're turning our soul all of our emotions towards jesus who is so worthy but i just see him visiting you and i feel like georgia because you're so faithful it's like faithful steady georgia but I just see him coming and bringing that, that oil, that salve, that healing ointment that's going to heal you your, from your emotions to your, to your memories, to your heart. And um, just, it's like, um, I, I feel like it, it is, that your walk is tender and precious to the Lord. But I believe it's, it's Song of Solomon. It might be Song of Solomon 6 when the, um, the daughters of Jerusalem and they say, Who is this? A shining as bright as the sun, as stars, fair as the moon, bright as the sun. And I feel like, Georgia, there's a new shine coming to you. That the, the healing, it's like a, a salve that heals only the, the areas in our heart that he can truly reach. That, you know, counseling doesn't always do it, but he does it. And I have experienced that firsthand. And I just, oh, I just feel he's so near to you. And I just feel like he's got some great gifts for you, Georgia in this Christmas season. So anyway, I bless you with that. And as you get on, if you're on Facebook, don't scroll and roll. I want to pray for you and prophesy if the Lord gives me something. Um, if you're on Facebook, press your share button. If you're on YouTube, press subscribe. And hello, Heather Harper. I love that. I love your name, Heather Harper. Um, I just see one who is fiery. I just see a fiery one. I feel like the Lord, that there's a real entrepreneurship in you, Heather. Um, and I also feel like you have, you are one of these people that you can just fix it. You, you know what to do. And if you don't know what to do, you just keep looking until you figure out what to do. And you solve a lot of problems. Uh, for people and in the, you know, just in life. And I, I just feel like when you're around that if something breaks, you know, I, earlier my computer wasn't working and nothing was working and I, I do not have that gift. So my son is gracious enough to come over and click, 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 and it's working. That's what you do. That's what you do for people. And, but I feel like you are, um, um, you are quick to listen and slow to speak. That is beautiful in all that, you know, cause I feel like there's such a spirit of wisdom that surrounds you, Heather Harper. I love your name, Heather Harper. Um, uh, but with all that surrounds you, Heather Harper, that there's a spirit of wisdom. And even though 
you are able to help people in their plight, uh, whatever they need help with. I feel like that the scripture that just kind of came into my mind was, you are slow to speak and quick to listen. That's rare, especially with someone that is so knowledgeable about a lot of things. You actually give people time to process their thoughts, their emotions, and you still wait, even though from the very beginning you know exactly what to do. You actually, I just get this picture of you just listening. You, you let people speak. And what that does, Heather Harper, I love your name. What that does is it, it brings about healing in the deep places of those people that are around you that need your help. It's like you let them process without even giving your thoughts. Your listening ear is beautiful. It's like you have the Lord's listening ear. And because you are not quick to jump in, well, don't do that, well, don't, because you're not quick, you're slow. And you let them process down to the last it and an if. You actually bring about healing in the person that you are speaking with because they actually mostly needed to process. And that's beautiful. That's beautiful. And, and I also just see like a harp, Heather Harper. I just see that harp, that music. And I, I just bless you. I don't know if you're musical or if you play an instrument, but uh, I just feel like through music, uh, the Lord's going to speak to you, and if you do play music, uh, that's a way that the Lord is going to minister to others through you. So anyway, that's so good. Okay, one more. Um, Laura G. from Detroit. I love Detroit. I love uh, Apostle Barbara Yoder. Mary Jane um, from Lebanon, Pennsylvania. And, and Anne from Kingsland, Georgia. Um, oh, I love that. Anne from Kingsland, Georgia. Um, just when I said your name, I just saw um, uh, just such a, um, uh, I just saw this picture of just a very, very tender heart. But I feel like, um, uh, I don't know if you, or would consider yourself like an evangelist, or maybe it's really easy for you to talk to people that you don't know. But I just feel like um, that the Lord's prayer is a very dear to your heart and you're just bringing his kingdom. I mean, you live in, is it Kingsland? Bringing the king's land to Georgia uh, is a passion for you and uh he's going to use you in it he just is going to use you and i just i also hear just like a mary of bethany that you love to worship and just pour out your all upon him and as you do that as you do that Anne, he will pour out his all upon you so Anyway, I love that. Okay, let me let me go over here really quick to YouTube below. And if you're on Facebook, press your share button. If you're on YouTube, press subscribe. All right, let me just look up a couple of macro Christian. I, Lord, I love your name. You said, Lord, make us first responders to you, for you, Jesus. I love that. And Cindy Elliott, blessings. God bless Cindy. Cindy, we continue to pray for you because I just, it's like even when I say your name, Cindy, I see, I don't know, if maybe it's Psalm, is it Psalm 71? Uh, and it's, I also think it's in Psalm 27, but when David prays, grant to me a long life. 
And I just see that over you. Cindy and these afflictions need to leave in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And so I just decree and I release over you, Cindy Elliott, a Psalm 30. Oh Lord, my healing God, I cried out for a miracle and you healed Cindy Elliott. That is Psalm 30, verse 2, out of the Passion Translation. And uh, also uh, Psalm 103, you forgive all of our sin. You heal all diseases. You heal everything. We just send forth those scriptures. Send forth your word over Cindy Elliott that these afflictions would stop and cease in the name of Jesus. Cindy, you have worth. You have value. I mean, even like when I met you and your friend, the, the, the knowledge that you had just about, I don't know if you were a respiratory therapist or something about all of our our lungs and I'm I was like God you're gonna use these women um, and and some of the way he uses us is what we do best in what uh, our knowledge is we're a nurse we're we're a doctor we're a dentist and he actually uses the gift that he already put in us that's already excellent. So in Jesus' name, Cindy, be healed once and for all in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Cindy, I just believe that for you. Light in the darkness. And I just, uh, on, on YouTube, and I just, I just say that's who you are, light in the darkness. Uh, I feel like, I don't know your name, but light in the darkness pretty much sums up who you are. Um, I feel like you are not fearful about going into dark places because you have, it's like a, you understand the authority of which you walk in, which darkness does not overcome you. You actually, light always overcomes darkness and I feel like light in the darkness you have great wisdom and you don't go places by yourself but there's a I just I just see two or three people uh, with you so that you're all holding each other up and holding each other accountable uh, I don't know may, I, I, I'm in my mind I feel like that's what you do now uh, but I feel like there's more people that the Lord is bringing to you and that you have a, a very sure step and there's such a confidence in you, uh, light in the darkness. There's such a confidence in you, Rachel. Rachel, uh, that's such a beautiful name. I love that. There's such a confidence in you Rachel, that it's like you understand the authority that you have that you can release over wherever you go when you, I feel like praying for the sick. I just feel like you're gonna see so many miracles. And sometimes when, when it's like light in the darkness, sometimes it's just going into the store. But even that, which you do in your everyday life, Rachel, um, you release you release the light of the Lord. And I wouldn't be surprised if people come up to you and say, "You're you just glow, you just you know you're just glowing." I can't quit looking at you. And I, I I've I, I've seen that happen before when I, when it hasn't happened to me. Okay, um, but you know, Lord, bring it. But when I've been with Heidi Baker, when we've been at different conferences, and I remember going into CVS because she just needed to get some stuff, you know, shampoo, just normal things. And this guy that was like in his, in his 70s, he just kept following us. And he was, he said to Heidi, and he's like, I, I don't, he goes, I just, you're just glowing. You, there's, your face is glowing, and I just, um, I feel like I know you. And anyway, that's what I feel. 
uh, for you, Rachel, and you have such a beautiful, beautiful heart. I love that. God bless you. And I feel like the Lord really is going to touch your family. As for me and my house, we will serve the Lord now and forevermore. That is a word, a scripture for you. Light in the darkness. And is that purple yak? Is that what that says? A place for kingdom talk. Good evening, Lisa. I love that purple yak. Royal talk. Uh, and so, Lisa, I just uh, feel Ephesians 1, that the Lord is giving you, just raining down on you like a downpour, the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of Jesus that he is. And as you, even in your, your, your royal or your purple talk, your purple yak, that um, I just feel like, I don't know if it's men too, but I just, I get women helping women, that you've been a real help to women. You've been a real builder up. And again, that's kind of like what I told someone else, that um, it, even though it's a, a, a yakking and a talking, uh, that you actually are an excellent uh, listener. And sometimes people just need to talk and that alone is their freedom that somebody would listen uh, but I feel like God's gonna really blow breathe on that purple yak I feel like the Lord's really gonna breathe on that come on keep it up don't let and I feel like don't let anybody say that's just dumb you guys are just talking and, and I feel don't let anybody tell you you're gossiping I'm telling you, if I have not heard that way too much, and what it does, most, most believers that love Jesus are not gossipers. And I have just about had it. And I'll tell you what else. I'm getting on my soap stand. The people that over and over and over say, you're gossiping, you're gossiping. I'll tell you what. They themselves are the gossipers. I'm, I'm telling you, 99.99999% of the time, the people they are pointing fingers at are not gossipers. And I feel like I want to brush that off of you, Lisa. I want to brush that off of you. That's not what you do. That's not what... Um, uh, and I feel like God is expanding what you do but uh, I feel like don't ever let anyone tell you that because it is the, their, the person saying it, it's their problem, not you. And I do believe that sometimes family needs to talk. And uh, the you're gossiping, you're gossiping, it is a power play to shut people down because mostly I don't think we do. Um, and so anyway, that was my little soapbox. So uh, when, I, when I saw that purple yak, I don't know, I just want to brush all the crusties off from anybody that would say that would say that it's not true. I will say to you, it's not true. And I believe the Lord says it's not true. Come on, that's so good. Um, and Pastor Roger Robinson, I love that. And Joshua Turner, I think I've I've prophesied to you, Joshua Turner, because uh, I'm not for sure, but uh, I just heard that he's going to turn it all around. Joshua Turner, it looks like it's going one way, and you're going, oh, no, oh, no, and he's going to turn it all around faster than you believe possible, because that's what he does. Um, and um, anyway, let me see. And, and Rhonda... Rhonda Horde, and is that your name, Rhonda Horde? I love that, because I just get this picture of the, the word hoarding, but I feel like, Rhonda, you, 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 you open your heart. It's not like a hoarding. You open your heart, and there's, you carry the presence of God with you. 
And you, it, it, it's almost like where you go places, there's such a beautiful presence of God on you that it's like, I feel like a gift. I feel like I hear people kind of joking, saying, don't hoard all of his presence. Um, but you know what? It's just the beauty of how you handle your heart when no one's looking and it's beautiful and i feel like it is such an attraction to the presence of god and you host that presence so well anyways and hello bonnie and i love back row christian um and redeemed forever donna needs healing and 71 year old woman full of life last year in fact okay so lord we're just praying right now this is on youtube redeemed forever lord we pray for donna in the name of jesus that you would touch her and heal her we send forth your word right now to wherever donna is and we say be healed donna in jesus name psalm 30 verse 2 Oh Lord, my healing God, I cried out for a miracle and you healed me. You healed Donna. And Lord, let, let her say, and now here I am alive and well, fully restored. That is Psalm 30 out of the Passion Translation. And we just pray that we send forth that word over Donna that you would strengthen her even at 71 that she would be stronger than she ever was before this uh, hemorrhaging uh, hit her body in Jesus name Donna be healed in Jesus name we're going to keep praying for that um, all right let me see just a couple more over here and I saw is it candy I love it or no, Cindy um, from Central Texas. Hello, Cindy. And Bonnie from, uh, is it British Columbia, Canada? So do you speak French? Au revoir. Comment allez-vous? I only know a little bit, but I am French. I'm Huguenot uh, my, on my dad's side. So that's fun because they used to sing the Psalms. Um, and I love that. And is it Heather Harper from Georgia? And again, if you're on, press your, if you're on YouTube, press your share button. If you are on, if you're on Facebook, press your share button. If you're on YouTube, press subscribe. Uh, also check out Julie Meyer Ministries. We have a great special going on, like seven CDs for $39, and that is a whole lot of music. Hey, you can give seven CDs away for Christmas, and they're some of my favorites. Plus, my Christmas CD is part of that package, and I love our Christmas CD. Um, anyway, and, and check out our worship mentorship called intotheriver.net. You can check that out where we are singing our way through the Psalms. And we have weekly Bible studies, live interactive classes, and we have a 24-7 worship radio with over 80 hours of the Psalms and the, the Christmas scriptures that I love. And just in closing, and, we'll, and I'll, I'll get on again a week from tonight, trying to just keep it once a week, you know. Um, but let me sing this, uh, just the chorus of this song that Mary wrote, or that Mary just spoke out of her love for God. And um, when she met Elizabeth, I love this in Mary's, Mary's, and she sings it. Oh, my soul magnifies the Lord, I lift him high, and my spirit rejoices in God, my Savior. This is Mary's song. 
check out intotheriver.net. We would love to have you jump into the river with us and experience the, I don't know, breaker, can I say breaker, of just carrying the word of God with you through a simple melody. A simple melody um, is powerful. So anyway, I'm going to say au revoir. I will see you. Um, I'll see you in a week.